Hey there guys, it's Cam ERC showing you a new video on this Rift uh, metal cage. Um, if you've seen the previous videos, you know the details, but I'll give you kind of like a quick look at everything. Uh, we have 12 mounting spots for the shocks from the front. Uh, you can move them in or out and then front and back. Uh, same thing for the rear. You have 12 different spots, higher, lower, front, back. And uh, you also have the support for your uh, sway bar. Uh, with this chassis, uh, you do have to use shorter turnbuckles so that the sway bar works perfectly. Um, if you keep the long ones, it's just gonna have a collision here. But um, you have a tray in the back, a tray in the front. Uh, it has the holes for the straps. You can strap it anywhere you like. You can also put it sideways can't see the holes here um, I guess you can see it there okay, right there and there's some in the back and some in the front so you can put the battery sideways as well if you want to um, everything fits inside of it you can run as large as a 40 by 74 millimeter can this is a leopard 2000 kV motor on that size and it fits in there the two speed fits as well you can't see it here because it's not bright enough but uh, if you're running the two speed you can also fit that in there um, you don't give up anything that you have on the stock um, chassis but you do get more adjustability with this one um, the battery tray is the same height as the stock battery tray so you're not going to lose any range on that one either um, and that's pretty much it on this one. Um, let's go ahead and get it turned on and see what we can do. All right, so right now, like I said, I'm running 3S. Let's see if we don't do anything crazy here. All right, so. Hold on, my controller is getting, okay, there we go. All right, so right here, I have all of this dirt. So I have a whole bunch of little hills that I can go up on. See right here, all kinds of angles that we can do. So let's just go at it and see what it does. All right, so usually you don't wanna just flip it on the first one, but since I'm recording and Driving, that's what you get. Now, you can see that's pretty steep right there. I'm gonna try and see if I can go up that one. Alright. Let's give it a shot. Oh, that's a rock. Uh, I seriously doubt that it's going to go up this one. Like I said, that's like super steep. Not so much at the beginning. Right there it is. But let's give it a shot. I don't know, maybe it'll do it. There. Let's see if we can line it up good. Plug it in. Yes, success. So that worked out. Let me see. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so, uh, the chassis itself is two pounds and five ounces. Um, planning on later on making it a little bit um, uh, lighter, trying to go on titanium. Uh, you guys may be wondering, oh, but what happened? Why did he stop running it? Well, there is a reason for that. As you can see, still too much power. So this is like a never ending thing with this vehicle. <laughs> um, so we gotta figure out a way to find strong enough parts. Um, so you guys already know, there's always gonna be a weak point 
on these and uh, obviously these dry shafts didn't work I have another one in there so I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out and put those in here and hopefully that'll work but that's the chassis itself uh, probably maybe not gun it like I just did there because that may hurt <laughs> anyways thanks for watching guys uh, I'll put it back together and I'll put something else for you guys to watch Yes, yeah,